Hey guys, what is up? Hi, John Wing here. Colton Rhodes, same thing, same person. The man, the myth, the legend. Not really, though. Um, I actually finally gave in. My scout's been kind of getting wore out. I mean, I, I, it is a little bit better when I first got it, but it, I started having all kinds of issues with it. I, see, I have, I've had the scuff for nine months. And I got it used, lightly used. It was used for maybe four weeks by my roommate, and he sold his Xbox and everything to me because he, did, he didn't want it anymore for whatever reason. Don't know. Never had any problems with it at first. You know, but it's a $220 controller. I mean, it's got, you know, it's, in, it's not four paddles. It's the two-paddle one. It also has the grips, um, the trigger stops. You know, bumper, you know, well, it's standard. Uh, then it's got the chargeable plug-and-play, and, you know, obviously all the regular shit you have on an Xbox controller, all that stuff. I mean, it's pretty standard, but it's, it's got the rumble pack and everything in it. I will say, though, $220, so basically more than half of what your console, if you have a regular 500 gig Xbox One, you know, costs... More than half of what your console cost. Um, this right here, I just got today. And this, what you're looking at, is the Xbox One Elite controller for $149. So $220, $150. This looks better, even. Um, you have to have a sp you have to have the screw they send with the scuff to get this out. They repurpose a uh, there's a few things I've noticed so far. This is just going to be a general review. Um, so with my uh, chat adapter that I plug in for my Astro A50s into this scuff, it's wobbly, it's loose. The, the paddles are actually in the battery pack, so like I I feel like I have to like stomp on them to get it to work right. And half the time when I go to slide with the scuff, my guy just crouches and it gets me killed. Like you know, I'll, quite often I can't say a percentage. I don't you know I don't keep track of that, but. Uh, you know, quite often, um, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's pretty annoying. I would say, hands down, for sure, this is the better control already. Uh, these are in a better position. I got used to where the scuffs were, being all curled up underneath it, and uh, I got used to that. These are in a easier position. Sorry, I accidentally clicked the button. This was actually on. Um, the easier position, they are way more sensitive. Which is a good thing, but going from the scuff to that, it was a little bit difficult of a transfer, just because I wasn't used to it. So, uh, and my hands are a little bit different. I'm a little bit further back on the controller. And the cool thing about this is you can, they have it to where there's four setups, and they actually come with four paddles. Um, but you can change them however you want. So, like, I can pop it out that easy. Like, you know, no tools, whatever. It's magnetic held in. I have, I've heard of some people having problems with their joysticks and stuff coming off, but watch this. Like, I had to, like, you know, exact some actual force on this thing to get it to come off. Haven't had any problems unless you, like, are all over the place in your controller. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta actually, like, give it a, you know, it seats good. It seats on there good. The magnet's great. I, I also like, like, the matte, flat black look they got going on with it and the silver. It looks really awesome, too. Um, another thing I'll say, I haven't looked into it, but I'm pretty sure you can, uh, hook a regular headset up into it without the chat adapter just because of that uh, port they have. Oh, let me get this in the camera. There you go. That port they have there. Um, even the chat adapter port, it syncs much better. Like, let me see. Let me pull this uh, thing off here. Like, let me plug it into the scuff and I'll show you what I mean. Like, it's, uh, it's kind of, you might be hard to see, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's wobbly. Like, it's, just, it's wobbly in there. Um, I mean, it still fits, and this is, I mean, the scuffs, from what I understand, they go from a regular Xbox controller, like, they start with that, and then they turn it in, they customize it into a scuff, but listen to this one sink. Like, there's no wiggle. It's firm. It's like it, it becomes part of the controller. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm having to struggle to pull the damn thing out. That's how good it fits. That's how it should fit. You don't want your partying crap messing up, and the, you want everything tight and snug. I will say, if you like, if you're a serious Call of Duty player, you know, if you want something to step your game up, some, it's not going to turn you into a pro overnight. It's going to take some getting used to. From the scuff to this, it probably took me about an hour to get used to this, to where I was, 
you know, dropping consistent 2.0 plus KDs regularly in TDM and playing my regular search game, which is, I mean, I, let's see, I played with it for about an hour and a half, and then I dropped a, a 9-0 with a plant and a diffuse search game. So it didn't take me much long to make the transition over. The cool part about this is, you may have noticed, I that one's longer than the other. Uh, you know, the same th idea with the control freaks that you can get for, like, I don't know how much they are. I've never really got, I've never gotten control freaks, but I think it's like 15, 10 bucks, maybe, I don't know, to make it taller. So it's less movement to have more sensitive, uh, like, more precise aiming. So these are actually some of the other stuff that it came with. The, they already can't add the paddles in it, but I didn't like the, all four paddles because one of them is, uh, you know, to hit X, and the other one's for Y. But the cool part of this is you can remap those to however you want. So if you don't like where they are, which which buttons do what, you can switch it. Um, I haven't messed with that either because I'm simple. I play COD and, you know, first-person shooters, that's it. That's all I need to hit. The other cool thing is, though, if you do have other control setups that you want to use, like if you play multiple games, you can you can uh, set it up to where there, you have a, a number one setting and a number two setting, which is pretty sweet. Also, like I was talking about with the... Uh, shorter and the taller thumbstick that are, those ones are actually concaved in, like the regular Xbox One that I'm, that, that I'm going to show here in a minute. So there's the other long one. Uh, so there's all that, but they also have kind of more like the PlayStation 4 controllers. They have a couple of, uh, uh, what is that, uh, convex tops. I tried using that because you may have noticed on the scuff I have, there's a little attachment on the top of my aiming one. But it, see, it's wiggled. Like the scuff just got wore out so quick. Um, it has a little bit of like uh, what are those called D dimples in them. They have dimples in them, so you can kind of grip it better. These are very smooth and kind of hard to grip. That's the only thing I haven't liked so far. But you know, I just put the regular taller aim stick on and works fine. Um, the other thing is, it came with uh, this multifaceted. Uh, they call it like a fighter D pad. I don't play any fighting games. I never, never played Mortal Kombat or anything since, like, I don't even know, like, old school, like Nintendo 64 or something, maybe. Um, and But I, I switched on the, you know, the regular, you know, four-way D-pad just because that fits my play style better. Um, trigger stops on this compared to the scuff. For, like, all you have to do is move these buttons out and you get full range of motion back, so... It goes all the way down, like the just the same movement as the regular Xbox controller I'm about to show you. Just move those little green buttons in. And then those little green buttons there are actually what the paddles hit once you press them down. I'll, I just move some stuff again. That's alright. Um, yeah. It is It is just amazing. Everything is so much smoother. Like with my scuff, even the home button and stuff, it's like they didn't take any time to put it together. You spend... You spend over two hundred dollars on a controller. You expect it to, you know, be a nice controller and last you a full year. And mine, mine would keep going. It's not like it's completely broken, but it it's starting to where it get where it will disconnect mid game and it will just randomly disconnect with full charge. And, and even sometimes when it's plugged into the Xbox, it'll disconnect. Like they have like bad wire housing or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm done I'm done bashing the scuff. I, I loved my scuff when I first got it. It was amazing, but this right here, if you want to step your Call of Duty game up, it's the future. Now, I'm not going to... If I had to guess how much percentage, like how many your KD would go up, it'd be about about... I'd, I'd say on average you'll probably see about a 10% increase in your KD. You know, maybe in extreme cases, 20%. Uh, I don't know. My best example is I, when I was playing a... Well, actually, not a very good example, but it's all right. When I had my 360, I was using a regular controller, and I went when I went from 360 to Xbox One, and moved up to a scuff. I went from about a 1.5 KD to a two, but that's mostly because I do a bunch of jumping around and stuff, and I was also kind of getting more into competitive, so I'm just a better player now. So you have to elevate your game to match with your controller. You can't just expect it to happen. But here's a regular Xbox controller, like it's. You know, obviously the same size as the scuff, all that. Let's back up here. Same size, obviously doesn't have the paddles. Lightweight, same same weight as the scuff. This is heavier because it has metal components, and it's magnetic in some of those components to keep the things down, which is awesome. Um, it feels good. This, I'm not sure that this has a rumble pack in it. It's not, if, if so, I don't have mine set on. 
Uh, this stuff has a rumble pack in it, as well as this controller, so it does not vibrate when you get shot, which is pretty good. It, it's a little bit weird to get used to, but when you're shooting and when you get shot, you don't feel the recoil in the controller, and you don't feel your guy flinching in the controller, so it helps you aim better and stay on target. Um, this obviously is, you know, the basic controller that comes with it, so it's like 60 bucks. This is 149 and this one was 220 and so if you're looking to up your game and not buy a scuff or a cinch or any of those custom made controllers it's going to take a while to get there these have been on back order forever but well worth it I ordered mine earlier in the week I think on Monday and I got it and they said I wasn't going to get it until Friday but I got it today on Thursday and that's all I can say I can fully stand back by it and endorse it it is an awesome controller Microsoft did a awesome job with this all right guys take it easy until next time take yeah like I said take it easy next time sorry I'm awkward as hell um let me know if you would like to, me to review anything else I can review games or you know whatever if you like seeing other type of videos from me let me know take it easy guys